Hi folks, it's Andy. Welcome back to The Kendo Show. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, today we are talking about a very um, interesting technique. We're going to look at a waza called Gyakudo or Hidarido. It's where you strike uh, the opposite side of the door than we usually strike. Normally we strike what's called Migi Do, uh, the right side of the opponent's body. This time we're going to be striking the left side. People often ask me about how to deal with somebody that's raising their arms to block all the time. They asked me about this waza. So a waza lots of people attempt and don't manage to um, receive points for and they don't quite know why. So we're going to be touching on that as well. Um, so I do think it's going to be a fun one. Uh, but before we jump in, you definitely need to hear what I'm about to say next. The first is, of course, that uh, all of the things that I'm showing and teaching in this video are things that are based on my own experience uh, and off what I've been uh, taught by my teachers over the years. Um, to qualify my position right now as recording this video, uh, I hold the, the rank of uh, Nenshi Sigthan in Kendo. Don't really like talking about that on these videos, to be honest, because it's not that relevant, but still, uh, that's the point of view I'm coming from. I lived in Japan for almost 10 years learning Kendo, so that's that's my sort of approach. I had lots of different senses all over the country, uh, including some really top level ones, uh, participated in some international tournaments, stuff like that. Um, um, so that's my sort of thing. That's because people often ask me about it. So don't ask me that because that's the... <laughs> um, if your teacher in your dojo uh, tells you otherwise or tells you something different that I'm showing you in these videos, then of course you should follow the advice and instruction from your own teacher. Okay, don't go to them and say, well, Andy Fisher on YouTube said this or something like that. Okay, so follow the advice of your teacher. Secondly, um, or thirdly, I've stopped counting. Uh, <laughs> the next point is, of course, if you don't agree with what uh, I'm saying in this video, um, if you don't like the particular way I've carried out the waza, if you don't like the angle of my sword or the way I'm holding the shinai or anything like that, that's totally fine. You do not have to emulate it. You don't have to follow it. Uh, you also don't have to write to me and tell me about how you don't like it. Other than that, <laughs> finally, uh, if you do like the videos that I put out, if you do like um, the content that I'm putting in, you'd like to support us creating more, of course you can like, share, subscribe, um, but also, most importantly, you can shop at kendostar.com. Uh, that's the Kendo equipment supplier that I own, of course, uh, that provides fantastic equipment all around the world. And we're the best in the business. So if you don't believe me, check out our Trustpilot rating. Uh, that's an independent reviews aggregate. You can see how we're the best rated online. We've got loads of cool stuff, whether it's uh, Borgu, the armor, or a Shinai, uh, even down to sort of Tenegui. Look at this one. This is a cool Tenegui that we have. Uh, this is original to Kendo Star. Strike first, always win. Sente his show. Uh, color scheme in no way inspired by any popular television shows. I'm often asked about Gakudo. Gakudo or uh, Hidari Do, as it's technically called, uh, is when you strike the left side of the opponent's body. Okay, this side. Normally when we do when we do door strikes, uh, we will strike this side. This side. Okay, the right side. It's called Migi Do. Okay? Uh, but for this segment, we're going to strike the opposite side. The Hidari Do. Gakudo. I'm asked about this a lot because the mechanics of this attack mean that although with the Nikido we would often go forward this way, it's not quite as possible when you're striking on the opposite side because this becomes very awkward. Okay? Instead, this is often done as the Ikiwaza and or a strike. So after striking, we would do backwards. It is possible to go in other directions, but we won't talk about that today. What I really want to talk about is how we make the actual strike. So, it's a very useful technique for an opponent that's acting in a very defensive way. So this way. Okay, so something like this, yeah? So when uh, an opponent tries to defend in this way, it's useful for this. Often we make the same attack this way and then we defend this way. Okay? Because they don't want to receive a strike. Often, even though we make the strike in Gakudo, it's not awarded, it's, it's Ippon. And that's because we often make the strike incorrectly. When we're making the strike, what's important is, as we strike the door, okay, and still striking with the correct passage here, about 45 degrees, 
I'm going to give you a right part of the day. Okay, I'm not too high, I'm not too low. I'm moving the right part of the door. Then, I'm using my left hand to maneuver the shin eye, not my right hand. Okay, it's not sideways this way. It's a left hand this way. And as I strike, I turn my hips. Okay, I turn my hips to my left as I make my strike. Okay? And as I turn my hips, my left hand stays in the center of my body. Okay? Door. This way. The biggest mistake everybody makes is they don't move their hips and they just hit with their hands this way. Okay? With their hands this way. And this can't be considered as a uh, correct ikbom. Ikbom here. Yeah. Step in. Okay, one more time. Yeah. Step in. Okay. Pull this way. Then, after striking, move backwards to a good distance where you're not going to receive a strike. The last thing people often ask is, why was it not Ikebon? Why was it not Ikebon? <laughs> the two most common reasons for Gyakudo not being awarded Ikebon is an incorrect strike that has poor energy and often poor posture. So a strike is like this or like this is very common. This one. This one like this, okay? This can't be awarded Ikebon. Second is that it's uh, done at the incorrect opportunity. Okay, so uh, for example, this is the position they have to be in. Okay, if they're in like this position or uh, a position where um, they are not completely sort of still or broken, then it's difficult to receive the ikbon or the yakubon. Okay, if they just if there's just a space there. Even though that they're not really completely broken, you have to really win with semi. You have to win and then strike with Gakko. Okay, it's not uh, the kind of strike that uh, is awarded kind of by chance. Yeah? They have to really get them into that position. Yeah. Where you can make a clean strike that's very easy for the Shinban to award as Ikbon. And that's how to do Gakko. So that was Gyakudo, um, or Hidarido, as it's officially supposed to be called. But I'm a bit of a rebel and I prefer the, the term Gyakudo. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know in a comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos from The Kendo Show, you can support us by shopping at kendostar.com. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.